So this one starts off the same as the last one we just tied, the green butt scope. We're going to tie on the uh, black thread and the white cap tail the same as we did on the green butt skunk. Just going to tie it in loose a couple turns first and kind of check my length. after you get the cap tail tied in. Same as the last one going back towards the point. Tying in the cap tail, run your thread back to the point. And on this one, we're using uh, some purple hackle. No, it's purple hackle. Purple hackle. For the tail, I need a, a ballpoint pin. So about the same tear off, about a, a quarter inch or three eighths inch of uh, purple echo fibers. You wanted a pin. Oh, no, I wanted for this. I wanted one to put on there and just shove it. About half the length of the shaft and tie that in. Shovel without stabbing myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this fly we tie in the tinsel next, so the tinsel is going to cover it from the tail all the way forward. Right after the tinsel on this one, we're running uh, some uh, uni thread, or actually it's a uni yarn. And I picked uh, red and orange. Or you can use a uh, colored floss. Tie in the uni yarn back to the point. And I'm going to run my thread forward about a quarter, a quarter up the shank, a quarter to, eh, some people like to go a little farther up towards three eighths, but I like to go a quarter. I'm going to start wrapping this yarn on here. Take some uh, orange yarn, do the same thing on that, about a quarter of the shank.
Yeah, I think the awesome color black. <laughs> Most of you guys have trouble with blues and uh, yeah. greens. Greens and browns. I think you dropped something. Oh yeah. So what about the, the tinsel each? One each? Yeah, back over that twice, Yes, I did. Filled it up. Filled it up a little bit, and I, oh, that. I could see the uh, black yeah. thread underneath it, so I want to make sure I cover that up. It's pretty thin material, so one or two wraps thick on it. Then for the last uh, front half of the shank for the thorax, we're going to tie in some. Uh, Purple, medium purple chenille. No rib? Yes, there is. The first thing I tied on after the tail was the uh, tinsel. And you've twisted those uh, uh, chenilles together to give you purple and. Black, is that right? I'll take these home. No, this is just purple chenille, medium purple. Okay. Just black up there. Well, I, King's I, color. I, I, I was seeing both colors, but I thought he twisted it this time. Pretty slick going two tone like that. Yeah, but catch a lot of fish from a man who bought it. Puffins all the light on the You betcha. Where's a hula popper when you need one? <laughs> now, now, for Mitch, he also has taken a flat. I'm going to tie on some uh, hackle first. Uh, purple hackle. Same as the last one from the tip. Pull off all the fuzzy feathers on the bottom. Three turns on that should be plenty. Tie in a little bit of a flash of blue on it.
I just took a couple pieces, taking out just a few strands. And you're gonna reach around and put this on your thread from behind. Sure. And pull it up over to the top. There you ah, go. Good point. There you yeah, go, Bruce. Okay. Thank you. Oh, cool. That lock cool. that in. A couple yeah, turns. Easy. Yeah, pull back the other strands. A lot easier. And lock that on. Even I says here with my finger flashable. So I'm right in the center up on the top. And we'll pull back the cap tail for the wing. Nice and tight. Pull everything back and tie it in. Build up the head on. Whip finish it. That's yours. Mm -hmm. Go back and trim your flash of goo. I like to go just a touch longer than the wing. That's it.